she i know why i was thinking this because one of the people that had one of the smaller followings had mentioned that their goal was to have a billion dollar company <laughs> and that is billion is the new million in the sense that it's a bs number that people who ha don't understand what a billion is yeah. or have no possible way of conceiving of it say that they're going to get there and they think and i was like how does this person or anyone think this and i, I get it it's like this is the biggest fish in their pond. And they're like, my whole life, I was, it's like, I was the smart kid at school. And then I got all these followers and subscribers. Like, I'm going to be at the top of the pond or the top of the stack. And it's like, no, man, you don't realize yeah. how big <laughs> a billion and how rare that is and how utterly common our size following is and our reach is compared to the billion mark. Not only that, when I see this billion thing, you know, like it's just such an ego. Well, trip. it's such a lazy. It's, <laughs> it's such a lazy. It's lazy. There's, there's no it's thoughts. Lazy. Like, yeah, I really think this company, if I worked really hard, could be 350, maybe 450 million dollar yeah. business. You're like, oh, you're thoughtful. You've thought about this. That Size numbers, of a that reachable numbers market based yeah. on math that yeah. you've done. Well, you know, I really think this company could be a billion dollar company. All right, you've done no thought at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm way less likely to invest in you. Yep. Trust you. You're just. You just feel, think highly of yourself. You can't do math yeah. is what I hear when you say like you, you don't get it and you think very highly of yourself and you're in you're in for a fall like yeah. that has to happen. People need, always need to scale back when they start talking about billion dollar ideas and they're not like in Y Combinator building the biggest thing ever that has investors. from well, like, like, Even my so I have a buddy who is killing it. Yeah, uh, he's part of this company called Candid. They do Invisalign stuff and they're worth so much. And he, he doesn't throw around crazy numbers. And you think about how successful they are. And let's say that it's like a nine-figure company with yeah, yeah. $100 million yeah. or $300 million. It's incredible. Cool. You're $700 million <laughs> short of a billion dollars. <laughs> like you might one day – listen, if your yeah. company's worth a couple hundred million, you could scale to a billion. You but could. still to think like you're not halfway there. But he doesn't say it is the thing. Mm -hmm. Like he's smart. He does use math. Yeah. But it's just interesting because the people who are saying we're going to have a billion-dollar business are not – raising equity at nine figures mm -hmm. they're just in fairy tale land yeah no it's it's the lazy man's number is is what i've realized when people just throw out a yeah, yeah. billion dollars it also means nothing like the people and I, i've been guilty of this too it just gives you something to aim at but people are like oh yeah i really want to earn a million dollars it's like that's another why, lazy number why yeah, yeah. not earn nine hundred thousand dollars is yeah. there something that yeah. after taxes you can't afford with nine hundred thousand well, i think like, it's easier and it and it shows a lack of thought the same thing occurs when people are like i'm gonna be the next tim ferris Tony yeah, yeah. robbins this that and the other thing and again it's like I, how many people have you heard say in our industry that they're the next planning on being the next tony robbins a third of them uh, i mean I, <laughs> like a hundred yeah like it's insane it's insane and again it shows a lack of understanding and math of what tony had done because when tony was 22 he was bigger than these people are at age 30 plus you mm -hmm. know what i mean and it's just like you how math <laughs> like i and i think i'm angry at it because i see myself or like past versions of myself in that which is i was you know a smart kid in my small pond and we did well with our first you know and struck out and it started working for us and had a following and i think part of me harbored this idea that i was all of these things you know and uh i guess part of my the the fact that it draws so much ire from me is that I see that same that same thing in myself, which is, God, I thought I was so much bigger, more important, and special than than I truly am. I'm a special sorta, <laughs> but I'm not once in a generation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. God, who said that? Milo Yiannopoulos said that that he is a once in a generation talent on a video that I watched. Well, depending on the metric, I've never seen another Milo. Like, I've never seen what a... it. Well, he was talking about entertaining that he's like, he was like talking about like Johnny Carson style. He's going to have a late night show. And it's just like, dude, what? He's unique. <laughs> he's I'll unique. give him once in a generation, he's depending unique. on what you're measuring. He's no. very unique. What for what is, never mind. We don't need to argue <laughs> the specifics of this. I'll just let his life play out and we'll find out if he goes down as the next Johnny Carson or not. And we won't know for another 20 or 30 years, yeah. but like, I'm betting not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's not because I think that he's not going to do great things. I think he will. But I think people, myself included, think that they're way more special, unique, gifted, and lucky than they truly are. And it's so okay to not. It's so okay to not be Jeff Bezos, yeah. you know, or Johnny Carson. Well, there's there, sometimes there's guys like Kevin Hart, who mm -hmm. I really like, who's like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the rock star comedian. And mm -hmm. you go, you sold out a stadium. You sold out three stadiums really, in the same city back really to back to back. Yeah. Like, like Fair enough. You are. 
I think he's the maybe, most popular maybe comedian. The first rock star comedian. And again, he's he's the most popular by a huge margin. Yeah. Like the second runner up isn't even close. Well, I was just thinking of someone who's there that he has a metric. You yeah. know, he's like that was a stadium, fit a hundred thousand people. I sold it out. Yeah. I'm a rock star comedian. Yeah. Like, Fair enough. Okay, uh, yeah. If you that's, are a rock star if, if you're comedian. watching it and that's you and your name is Kevin Hart, <laughs> just ignore everything I ever said. <laughs> like you're, you're spectacular and you're killing it. And you truly might no, be once I, in a generation. I just think it, I thought it's uh, – yeah, it's funny. Sometimes the hyperbole is correct. You see Draymond Green said he's the best defender that's ever played NBA basketball. Did he? Yeah. And then they inter- – I actually – he said it for the sound bite, I think. Yeah, of they, course. Then of they course. asked him about it. They're like, so, Draymond, you said this. And his <laughs> answer was – you have to think it before you can achieve it. Yeah, so if yeah, I yeah. don't say that I'm the greatest ever, I can never be the greatest ever. Just like if I hadn't said I was an NBA talent in high school, I wouldn't be in the NBA right now. You never you never just stumble into greatness. This is tough. Argument. Okay, so I agree. But, you, the, oh, man, this is an interesting topic. Where does that get too hard? Because I agree. When you look at the Michael Jordans and the people who truly did become the best, they had an irrational belief that they could be the greatest ever. It's It is seems necessary yeah. for achieving rock greatness. stars too i forget the study but there's some study of like famous rock stars measured by a certain thing billboard hits or whatever mm-hmm. and they asked them when did you think you were going to be a superstar and mm-hmm. just way disproportionately they're like at age 15 yeah, when, when they've 10. never done anything yep so this is my question we know because we don't move in the world of the elite cream of the crop because there are so few of yeah. them a lot of the people who have done well but haven't gotten there and there are so many more of those yep well weirdly it's like if you are exceptionally talented then having an insane sense of self is valuable Mm -hmm. because a disproportionate amount of the people that get there have that but if you're not insanely talented it probably is a disservice to you because instead of going and pursuing something more reasonable you just keep doing you keep pursuing the nba career and you never get there so what you keep pursuing the tony robbins and you end up being a you know failed life coach well so what should you do if you're oh, there, just have and... an accurate sense of self awareness. Yeah, <laughs> just just know right away. And how does one do that? Because we, I mean, I think of friends. I think of like how how does one get an accurate sense of where they fit into the ecosystem, such that they're optimizing their potential. But also, I can think of plenty of people whose inflated sense of what they could achieve actually hurts them sure. from learning, for sure. from from treating themselves as the beginners or the novices or the journeymen that they are, and they're they're playing bigger than they are before they're ready to go there and they would be much better served by going into a learning phase how does one navigate that well that's a great that's actually awesome that you said this in your question i think you said the answer the people that are great Mm -hmm. they still work their asses off Mm -hmm. so michael jordan kobe bryant these guys when they were in junior high they thought they were going to be the nba Mm all-star they were still putting the most hours in of anyone in the gym they get to the NBA. They still think they're going to be Hall of Famers. They are outworking all their teammates. I, th- I would bet the same thing for the musicians. The 15-year-old that thinks that they're destined to be a rock star mm-hmm. is still getting vocal lessons, is still practicing every day, writing songs every day that suck until they get to the good ones. I think where it hurts you is when you're like, I'm going to be the next Tony Robbins, and that's my destiny. Mm-hmm. And so I'm not going to bother studying how he did it and then spending a ton of time modeling him and creating the actual chance for that to happen. Instead, you just keep saying, I'm going to be the next Tony Robbins. Yeah. Affirmations. I'm going to manifest this. I'm the next Tony Robbins. And then all of a sudden, 20 years go by and you haven't put the work in, yeah, so yeah. it doesn't happen. And beyond that, you when you said Kobe, this came to my mind. He, was, he watched every single game back on tape mm-hmm. and was highly critical of his, of his play style and what he did wrong. And when I think of the people that I know that are hurting themselves – they lack that. Yeah, it's they the guy lack who says, the criticism of themselves. It's the guy who says, "I'm going to make a million dollars in 2019," and then 2019 rolls by and they don't even get close. Mm-hmm. And then they do no analysis yeah, yeah, of yeah. like, "Hey, I said I was going to make a million dollars in 2019. I missed hard. Why?" Instead, January one rolls around and they go, "I'm going to make a million dollars in 2020." Or and and actively seeking out ways that you are not good enough is what I think of when I think of Kobe. It's mm-hmm. like. He went to coaches like, tell me where I'm weak. And the people that I'm thinking of, they don't do that. They like, they will even shut conversations down around that, whether mm-hmm. it's emotionally shut it down or physically be like, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, that's a big thing is, is this simultaneous belief that you can be exceptional and great, but also this like, 
just ruthlessness when it comes to exposing your own flaws, weaknesses, and inabilities, and inconsistencies in, like, setting and achieving mm -hmm. milestones and goals.